Application Challenge 1 on Hack This Site. All the information that's useful will be on the under the video description, so you can look there. I recommend you do all your binary analysis in a VM. That way, if a program makes some changes um, to your computer, you, you won't be your main computer, be a VM. And you can like snapshot before and after, compare it, see the changes, and you just reset the snapshot so nothing bad will really happen to the VM. There's two main things you should have System Internal Suite and IDA Pro. Um, all I debug is a little, not as much stuff as IDA Pro, but these are the two main things you want. In System Internal Suite, there's one thing in particular you want, it's called strings. Um, here we go. So, here's strings, here's the app one. What you want to do is open up a command prompt window, which is like the Windows sign and then R. You can also do like run alternatively, depending on your operating system. Um, so do OK or Enter, whatever. Use command prompt. You want to navigate to the location where these things are. To do that, you can do CD and then wherever you're going. So for instance, I'm going to desktop. You can also do tab to autocomplete. So I'm going to desktop. So let's run this. Authenticate your software. Enter something to authenticate. And you see all this stuff right here. So we got like random stuff. Authenticate. Incorrect. Well, let's run strings against this. What strings does is it takes all the uh, strings, obviously, in this program and just writes it out. So if you do like strings, it'll show you all the arguments and usage and all that fun information. But pretty much the simple way of doing it is just do strings in the program name, so app one win. Um, and it gives you all this information right here. But I don't want to scroll through this. I want to like control F and all that fun stuff. So I'll do that and I'll pass it all to a text file. So for instance, output.txt. And then to run, to get open up the file, I can do notepad, uh, output.txt. Or I can just find the file and op open it. So for instance, boom, double click. So here's all the strings. You can look through this manually, or you could just go authenticate, look at this, look at this, and search some queries. So for instance, sorry. Boom. See this all this information right here? This is probably useful. You can see like menu items. So for instance, undo, cut, copy, paste, right there. So obviously it's giving you information about this file right here. So in programming, what generally something you can do is this is general, not what they're doing, but you can do like if uh, the user password equals true password then um, you're going to display the key code or whatever else something like this so as you can see um, if they're right you're going to say congratulations if they're wrong they're going to say this so we'll just copy one of these this could be the key authenticate congratulations smash the state Boom. So it's right. Uh, questions, comments. I'm probably going to do more of the binaries. If you want me to do, tell me. If you don't, tell me. That's about it.